today's episode of PJ and the Beard, we're going to be looking at a pedal from Pedal Pond. But before we get into that, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you know what we're up to. Your engagement with the channel helps us engage companies like Pedal Pond. Right. And uh, before we get to the star of the show, we've done one other pedal from them. We did the Chicken Quiff, one of their tremolo pedals, because we did a tremolo series. And uh, we tried this out. We like this pedal, and they were really gracious in helping us get it from across the pond, as the kids say. But the second request, we went big, literally big. <laughs> yeah, we went for the gypsy vibe. It comes in a coffin, basically. But it's a <laughs> super nice swag, right? The old magnetic box. You opened it up. I think we have the European version of uh, gummy bears. Uh, we're not sure what the glorious infused innards are, but we'll find out at some point. <laughs> comes with a bag that you can put the pedal in. And uh, came with some stickers and some other stuff. And, uh, oh, picks. Look at us. There's picks in there, too. So, great company. Nice. We had a great first experience. Got the gypsy vibe in, and maybe the beard can expand on what are we doing with a giant vibe pedal. Yeah, after we uh, did the chicken quiff, I had said to Chris, you know, we interested in the gypsy vibe. And it's mm -hmm. been a while since it's been a while yeah. because we were, you know, we've had this since, since the day this channel started. The dream has been to do for me, You're right, a uni vibe series. Done the Leslie series, done the Tremolo series, done the Electra series, done the Shakedown sound. We're not starting it tonight. No. no. But this would definitely be, this would definitely be a in cornerstone it. in that so type some of series. preview, yeah. yeah. So, the Gypsy Vibe, Uni Vibe style pedal. Um, since we have done a series on Leslie pedals, you might expect me to start talking about how this was made to sound like a Leslie. It really wasn't card up here go check that out uh we have a special guests to come and explain the real backstory behind that and everybody still makes the mistake of thinking that this was supposed to sound like a leslie right so check that out if you if you want to see what you think anyway we're jumping into it i think yeah you know we have a volume we have a throb we have a min and max so the more you turn up throb the more throb you get, right? Volume, you can go past unity on it. And then the min and max is your speed. And then we can either pick the core side or the vibrato side. I don't know. Does anybody use the vibrato side? I guess somebody does. We tried, but mm -hmm. really? Um, why don't you kick us off? Yeah, so this is actually my first foray into a Univibe pedal. So I was kind of excited and intimidated all at the same time because, you know, you don't want to just go to the obvious, hey, look, I'm Jimi Hendrix, because I'm not. So I, I my, my first foray into it, I uh, went uh, clean. And, of course, you know, if you're going to play a Vibe, why not play a 335? So uh, <laughs> this is what I played for my first clip ever on a Univibe pedal. <laughs> So staying on the chorus side, you know, I plugged it in and first thing I did, <laughs> grabbed the direct drive from Barber, a little bit of delay from um, our new DLS Echo Tour, and just, yeah, here it is. <laughs>
not to be outdone, I was a little jealous of, of putting drive because mine was clean the first time. So I, I flipped on also the direct drive because it was there with the DLS Echo Tour. And I flipped it to the vibrato side because for a guy who really doesn't know what he's doing, let's give him the vibrato side and see what he can come up with. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. Why let's not? give it a chance. It if it doesn't work, just blame it on him. It deserves a chance. <laughs> it does. It does. And this is what we did. I decided to clean it up a little bit, go to some single coils with the PRS Silver Sky, and play the riff from that Leslie sound from that series that we did uh, right now. <laughs> Like you said, not to confuse the point that was cleared up earlier by a unicorn, uh, he went ahead and did that Leslie sound and uh, out of the gypsy vibe there. Uh, so uh, moving on to my section, I also grabbed the uh, PR Silver Sky, some single coils, uh, clean, tried to make it to where it could uh, maybe chop it up, maybe a little bit funky, and um, this is what I did. <laughs> So for my last clip, I thought, let's throw some fuzz on it. We had one, I think literally we have one fuzz pedal down here. Um, like real fuzz pedal, and that's the Scattered Abroad um, Guitar Works Fuzzy Fox. We need to rectify that a yes. little bit. We had some more, but like we need to rectify that. Um, In-house, we had one. Chris, just say it. <laughs> just, we had one fuzz pedal. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> So those are the clips we put together with the Gypsy Vibe. I really enjoyed my first uh, foray into Vibe. 
trying to figure out what I wanted to do with it. There's a lot of uh, possibilities there, you know, between the Throb and the Min and the Max uh, that you can do something that just has a little movement over the top. You can have something that's really choppy. There's a lot going on in there. I understand why it's part of classic rock and the journey of that. It's it's pretty cool. That last clip you did with the, the Silver Sky where you're playing that uh, kind of groove, mm -hmm. that kind of thing that just kind of grooved. You yeah. started off real slow and then you came in mm -hmm. and we're, you know, putting a little more notes to it. I really like that, the way it sat right. behind that, that, that sound with the UD vibe is really cool. And then, of course, I really like when you throw a lot of driver <laughs> fuzz or something into it and it has the, you know, the maybe the thing that you might associate with people like Jimmy or Robin Trower or who you just saw. I just saw Philip Sace. Right. Yes. A lot, of, a lot of vibing going on there. Right. And I believe if you look at Pedal Pond's website, you might make a connection there too. <laughs> so with that, um, thanks for watching. Anytime you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, leave comments down below. Really helps us out. Like Pat said, it helps us to continue these relationships with great companies to hopefully continue to bring you cool stuff that we're excited about. And I think um, before that, stop out the website, check that out. Uh, all the series and things that we've talked about, you can find all those there. And with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the Beard Reminding, you, no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. <laughs>